We're going to watch Shelly Lomax here talking to the press about this cell phone, the so-called, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the so-called cell phone incident, which we found out later was a old MP3 player. But this this clip of hers is interesting on a couple levels because it it will show you exactly how TriMet management thinks. Watch the clip and then I'm going to comment. Not allowed. Any personal electronic device um, has to be turned off and stowed when you're operating a vehicle. Complaint. We take it very seriously and um, we know that their safety is what's most important. Is the driver going to be fired? The matter will be investigated and appropriate action will be taken um, dependent upon what the outcomes of the investigation are. Okay, her little statement there is very revealing because I would wager with you that they already, Leonard, of course, didn't try to cover it up. I mean, when they pulled him in. Don't forget, this incident happened three weeks before the news story, okay? <laughs> there was a three-week lag between when it hit the papers and when it happened. So when Lomax is talking to this reporter, of course the investigation was done. It was done the first day. And uh, Leonard copped to it. I'm sure he said, yeah, it was a, uh, an MP3 player, to which they said, please don't have it out. And he, and he probably said, yeah, okay. Uh, <coughs> but she <coughs> lies to the press there with a straight face. And then she goes on to talk about the policy. But she, already, she had already known the outcome of the investigation. Now, she, she, didn't, she didn't do anything to defend any bus drivers or anybody she just went right for the the investigation so it's very revealing in the sense that you can you have proof positive that they lie because she knew what had happened they knew the day that that picture came in all right now the second thing to be said about this is the obsession with the minutia on the part of the public you know for decades, there were no laws for bus drivers of what they were doing, okay? They could do whatever they wanted, basically. They could drive with their feet, drive with one hand, uh, sitting upside down. I mean, I remember the days when that used to be. And let me tell you, drivers would still achieve a million miles safe and 20 years safe. Some of this minutia that the public is <coughs> focused on is so ignorant in the sense that it's not – you're trying to pin – behaviors on people or assume that aren't true. So so Leonard's looking at the MP3 player. What you don't think Leonard or any driver would look at the BDS system, it's exactly the same movement. You're looking at something. There's absolutely no reason why Leonard can't look at his MPS or any reason why I couldn't have looked at my cell phone. I mean, I can't. obviously you can't text and drive but maybe there's some information you just want to glance at when you're stopped or something. It's The point I'm making is there is no issue with these electronic equipments. There would never been a uh, accident at TriMet over this stuff. Sure, it's bad policy, but the point I'm making is they continue to build these phony issues. They're not real issues. And they hammer them and hammer them and hammer them into the minds of the people in order to produce this reaction. And this is another example of that. And you saw what happened with that stupid story of Leonard. It was completely built on crap, but yet everybody responded appropriately. So my point in making this video is to show you, first of all, Shelly's a liar because she lied with a straight face. And the power of the media to manipulate our minds. And the kind of things that are important, the kinds of things that really should not be important.